so these are called Qmates, an intravaginal progesterone device, uh, Betaquinol. Um, so there's a groove on the top, that's where the tail goes. These, these uh, pods have progesterone in them. So that's choked down so it can fit into the back of the cow. There's a bucket here of water for rinsing the gun in between, and then I, normally I just load them up, and then there's about an inch of lube down in this silver bucket here. So that they're ready to go for when you're flying along. <coughs> so these are heifers, they've never had a calf through them, so some of them actually have what feels like a hymen, and some of them are free martins. So free martins are hermaphrodite, and when they're in utero with their brother, if the placentas were touching, the uh, the male buggered up the female. So she's got a very, very short vagina, no cervix. So if you try to put this in there, it ain't going nowhere. So we can use this tool here. It's called an easy bossy. It's for, it's, called, it's for pacifying cows. You put this in their mouth, and they forget about it because that's quite mm. distracting. And um, we can actually use that to check them. If we're having trouble getting this in, you can just insert that. If it only goes in that far, she might be a free martin. If it goes in that far, she's actually a heifer and this should slide in pretty easy. So I'm putting these in. There's a there's a scraper on the bottom, on the top. So they're a bit dirty. So you can just, you can go like this and wipe the vulva. And sometimes this time here, there's a bit of vulva. When you insert the gun, see how this is oval shaped? If you start this way and then roll it after you go in. Okay, you're right, love. And it goes, and then once you're in, just pull. Now what these tails will do is they'll rotate, which is pretty handy. Some of the other devices, you gotta make sure the tail's oriented properly, otherwise it tickles the tail, and no one likes a bit of tail tickle when you're thinking about getting bred in about 20, well, 12 days from now, according to this program. So she's ready to go. She's got her mill and a half of uh, estradiol. Yep. So what else? Here we go, she's driving the camera. The gorgeous Joe, we should have you in the video because you're the most attractive in the yards by far. <laughs> you bang this into here, give it a rinse, she's good to go. We run another one in. And what we're doing is we're synchronizing these ladies. So cows, have, cows go through an ovarian, uh, a follicular way. They produce a follicle, which has an egg in it. And, and like, like humans, cows are born with the, born with all of, them, all of the eggs they're ever going to lay. All the eggs that are inside your ovaries are there for your little baby. And then once they're gone, they're gone. So these girls have all of them. And they go through a follicular wave every seven days where the follicle matures and there's an egg in it. That's progesterone in the way it just regresses and then we'll do it again another seven days and then they'll regress. And usually on the third time, so every 21 days, so I just, it'll go to, it'll mature when, when there's no progesterone in the way. That egg will be released. It'll go down the fallopian tube. The cow will show heat or estrus, which will be in standing heat. She'll stand, she'll stand and uh, wait for a bull to come around. The bull will do his business. The little swimmers will shoot up, the, uh, shoot up that, up, the, up, up through, swim through the cervix, into the uterus, find that egg. They'll play happy music. So maybe you have some candles. We'll talk about poetry and things like that. And, uh, and quite often, you get some you Now some of those will stick around. Oops, sorry, some of those will stick around. And some of them won't. So even though conception is probably in the 90s, we end up generally with about 60% of them that actually take. So what we're doing is we're manipulating that cycle. So we're giving them a shot of estradiol that's going to reset that follicular wave. We're going to put in our own progesterone so that we can make sure that that, that, that um, follicular wave continues to grow. And then in a week's time, we're going to give them a shot across the gland. That shot across the gland is going to get rid of any pulp of the which is the cow's source of progesterone. It's going to get rid of that. Three days later, we're going to pull the device out. That's going to allow that follicle that's been slowly maturing, and this has been stopping it from really going depth on one. It's going to allow it to continue to grow. The, the, uh, the follicle is going to rupture. The oocyte is going to be released, and we're going to be standing there with a lovely straw of beautiful semen, some nice short run semen. Hopefully, the music will play, and we're good as gold.
She's a little bit dirty. That's alright. Let's do this one. did a really good job of cleaning the vulva. Okay, now we can see. Yeah, set. So I give it a sweep like this and then slide in. Take it in. On the, next, on the next one, I'll show you that introducer, how it works. So this is called an easy bossy. It's got multiple uses. Okay, so on this one, let's say, I don't need to clean her, but let's say that I was having a bit of trouble. Um, so for the free Martin, where she doesn't have a uterus, this isn't gonna wanna go in. All right. Hey, Tiga. She's a heifer. That's, she's a free Martin. That would only go in about that far before it would bottom out. And because this is really small, it's always gonna go in pretty easy. Versus this thing's pretty big, and some of these girls have a bit of a narrowing in their, in their vagina, which when you hit it, you go, whoa, Jesus, she feels a bit tight. So if she feels a bit tight, try this. If it goes in easy, then this will go in. If it, if it bottoms out, she's a free martin. The other thing you notice about a free martin is often they have a funny vulva. So if you look at here, you got a little tiny clitoris there. They'll have a big clitoris. And then, you know, on a bull's prepuce, it's got a lot of hair on the end of his, on the end of his prepuce, on the end of his willy. They'll have lots and lots of hair around their vulva. Lastly, they've got bugger all teats. So if you look at this girl's teats, she's never had a calf, so of course they're little. But see how big that is? It's about the size of my pinky. Maybe a bit bigger. Well, on the if they're a um, if they're a free martin, they've got the same size teats as a steer, which are just these tiny little you know steers have little tiny teats in front of their uh, in front of their sternum. Give it a wipe. Slide it in. Let's go. Here. So I'll leave you to it. Joe, you can butt them. I'll take some video of you and... Sorry, brother.